identify some critical structures in the thorax. We show now the surface outline of the heart. We see the right border of the heart is close to the right border of the sternum, and the apex of the heart is close to the midclavicular line and near the nipple. The superior border of the heart is roughly at the level of the third rib. We show here now the aorta uh, coursing off to the right, and we see it uh, just, just to the right of the sternal angle and then curving behind the manubrium to the left. We show also now the bifurcation of the trachea at the sternal angle. We see it dividing into its lobar bronchi, three on the right and two on the left. We see also the pulmonary uh, trunk dividing into right and left pulmonary arteries that follow the bronchi as they go to supply the lungs. We now see the uh, location of the valves of the heart. We see the pulmonary, aortic, mitral, and tricuspid valves coursing inferiorly and obliquely. We note here now the auscultation points for these valves and note that the auscultation points follow roughly the direction of blood flow. We now show the lines of pleural reflection, which indicate the maximum extent of the pleural cavity. And we see that the pleural cavity extends superior to the medial third of the clavicle, and then they descend close to the midline on each side. On the right, the uh, pleural cavity descends inferiorly and then curves to follow the costal margin. On the left, the pleural cavity extends inferiorly to about the third rib, where it, it deviates laterally because of the presence of the heart. And then once inferior to the heart, it follows the same trajectory as that of the right pleural cavity. We show here the position of the lungs themselves in quiet inspiration, where they have not filled the pleural cavity completely. And we note that they're a rib or two above the pleural cavity. We now summarize the structures of the thorax, which we've drawn.